Pam and Tommy Episode 4 reveals a string of events ranging from absolutely bonkers to genuinely heartbreaking. Do you have any idea how humiliating it was? Here's how accurate they are. How accurate is the depiction in Pam and Tommy Episode 4 of the actual events that unfolded in real life and true story? Pam and Tommy Episode 4, The Master Beta, opens with the short-lived success of Rand Gauthier's Seth Rogen illegal distribution business alongside Uncle Milty, Nick Offerman, who oversees the capital part of the operation. After Rand starts selling the stolen sex tape on the internet, word of the tape spreads like wildfire, quickly leading to bootleg copies, which in turn harms yeah, Rand's so business excited. as a whole. A this, of course, is true to real life, as Rand was not able to profit off the stolen tape due to the widespread distribution of bootleg copies, and things soon got out of hand when the media got a whiff of the scandal. Illegal, but it's definitely unethical. So unless you want a major... On the other hand, the episode opens with Pam, Lily James, and Tommy, Sebastian Stan, finding out that they are going to have a baby, which offers them genuine happiness for a moment. However, this is soon disrupted when the couple finds out about the existence of the tape, who are left utterly disgusted by it, which leads to the hiring of P.I. Anthony Pelicano. Good call, fuck you. This is also true to real life, including the fact that the couple found out about the missing tape quite a while after Rand's robbery. Much like what happened in Pam and Tommy episode 4, Pelicano was immediately able to deduce that the person who had stolen the tape was the electrician Rand, as he was the only person who had both the opportunity and the motive. You never paid him? No. The level of paparazzi harassment shown in the episode is also true, as Lee and Anderson had to deal with a whole other level of media attention which crossed the line of invasion of privacy, given the intimate nature of the tape. I just... What the fuck did you just say? I'm sorry that came out wrong. The ending of Pam and Tommy episode 4, in which Pam smashes up a paparazzo's car did not actually happen in real life, but makes emotional sense in the context of the scene as it serves as catharsis. After all, she had just undergone the intense trauma of losing her baby. Did Pam and Tommy have a miscarriage? In Pam and Tommy episode 4, when Tommy goes to the garage to put the ultrasound scan in the safe, it is then that he realizes that the entire safe is missing, and later, the tape. While both Pam and Tommy are visibly upset by this, the exposure of the tape is bound to have a more intense psychological effect on Pamela, which is something Tommy fails to grasp from the get-go. But I, I, I told you I was nervous and then you said you said you put it in the safe. I'm on the tape too. Tommy exclaims, without understanding how violated Pamela feels, especially now that she is on the verge of being a mother. Perhaps the stress of the scandal coupled with the trauma of it all leads to the miscarriage, which is a truly heartbreaking moment for Pamela Anderson, but also for Tommy Lee, given the intense nature of the loss. Worse for you. Why? Because of your big career? No. Which is so much bigger than mine? When compared to what happened in real life, the events in Pam and Tommy are only partially correct. Anderson did suffer a miscarriage in late June 1995, which was before the robbery took place in November 1995. The vanished safe was not discovered until January 1996, by which time Anderson was pregnant again, giving birth to her first son Brandon in June 1996. While the timeline has been changed for narrative and dramatic purposes, it does not change the fact that the couple, especially Pamela, had already undergone a distressing time, which was further exacerbated by Rand Gauthier's real-life actions, disrupting their peace to no end.